And then she came back to my crib and was like, you gotta leave. And I'm like, what? She like, you gotta leave. Grand rising to my tribe, you know the vibe. We're gonna start this off with a deep breath. If you're new to the tribe, I appreciate you for tapping in. Welcome. We start every video off with a deep breath so we can align our body, mind, soul, and our energy. So let's get to it, y'all. Y'all ready? Let's go. Praise to the most high. So look, I'm in I'm in the complex. Right. And they got a movie theater in this bitch. That shit tough. It's not it's small, but I mean you feel me like that shit tough. You feel me? Look, 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 look. Should I film from right here? Or right here? What about right here? Yeah, I might do it from back there. Alright, let me stop playing y'all. So look, I'm sweating and shit now too. <sighs> I got love bomb, bro. Like, I got I got little clips I'm gonna show y'all and everything, but I didn't know that women can love bomb men. I did not know that. I was unaware. I was unaware, bro. I got a story for y'all. So I met a girl. This was this was last year, bro. This uh, this one even recent. It's just I never told y'all about it. But I remember everything vividly, bro. So look, I met a girl and we was texting for a little while. Right? And so we was texting for a little bit and you know, we didn't see eye to eye on some things because she was like real combative. But I was like, I low-key was like, all right, I'm going to stop texting you. You feel me? Like, I didn't say it directly, but I was like, you feel me? Like, I'm, I'm good off of this because I'm not trying to be going back and forth. So next thing you know, she invites me out for Father's Day. She like, you want to go to the movies, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, I'll go with you, this, that, and the third. So we link up, we go to the movies. We go see a movie. It was chill vibes when I first got there. She was looking good as shit, like good as shit. Like she bad. I'm, I'm gonna let you know that right now off rip. She was bad, you feel me? Like, and a solid, a solid eight and a half, nine. But that's, but that's my eight and a half, nine. Like my scale, my, my scale is, you feel me? Like my ratings is up there. So like a, a, my eight and a half might not be like, the next dude was eight and a half. Some people, but not the average dude. And so she was, but she was bad. We get to the movies, we chill, we watch the movie. We walking back to the car now. After the movie's over, now we walking back to the car. It's hot as hell outside, you know, we in Houston. I'm sweating and shit. So we just standing there while the car is just cooling down because it's hot as hell outside. So her car on, my car on, and then cooling down with the AC on. Like, what you finna do after this? It's not the third. She was like, nothing, I don't have any plans. I'm like, I right, bet. So, I'm like, you could come back to my crib if you want. I gotta, I'm like, you can come back to my complex if you want. It's a, um, it's a pool, it's not in the third, blah, blah, blah. We could, you know what I'm saying, go swimming and stuff. I wanted to see it without no makeup, to be honest. But she came through, you feel me? First she went home, she was like, I'm gonna go home and change. And uh, she was like, I'm gonna go home and shower, change, and like, you know, change to my bikini or whatever. So I'm like, all right, that's a bet. I'll meet you back at my crib. So I go to my crib, she go to her crib. I go, I get, you know what I'm saying? I change, I shower, I get ready and shit too. But I also go cop something too real quick. And so we go to the pool. We get to the pool. Well, she got she got to my crib, my bad. She got to my crib, then we go to the pool. We get to the pool, and then once we got to the pool, we were just chilling, you feel me? I had the music out there. It was a little party out there and shit like that, too. Um, it was a whole bunch of, it was like a Hispanic family. It was like two Hispanic families, actually, and you know, they'd be friendly as shit. And so, one was on one side, the other one was on the other side, and then there was a whole bunch of other people at the pool, too. So me and her get there, it's probably like, 
an easy like 40 people out there maybe yeah easy like 40 people but it was vibing like you feel me it was the summertime it had music playing on one end it had music on like spanish music on my end you had my music the hip-hop and all that it was a vibe bro it was nighttime it was cool it was hot warm all that so I roll up, so we did what we did. We in the pool for some hours, bro. We out there chilling, vibing for some hours. And then, um. Hey, I'm sorry, close in the office. Okay. All right, my fault, y'all. Y'all yeah, like my necklace too? It's my big, it's my daughter's necklace actually, but I'm just wearing it because I miss her. But look, man, my fault, y'all. I had to, uh, I had to leave. I had to leave the uh, movie theater because the leasing office was closing. But um, we're gonna finish that story. What was that? We was out there for some hours, right? So so by the time we was ready to leave, it was probably like two in the morning. Yeah, I think it was like two in the morning. And so she lived, and so I lived like in the burbs, and she lived in the city, like in the city city. And that was like a 45 minute drive. It's two in the morning, so I'm like, yo, you go crash on the couches down the third so that you ain't gotta make that drive this late, you feel me? And um, whenever you're ready, you can get up and go. Just let me know when you leave and so I can lock the door behind you type shit. And so she took me up on an offer. She came, we get back to my apartment. She um, she went, used the bathroom, like changed, dried off and all that. I did the same thing. So then um, even though it was late, I was type hungry and I was faded. So I went to the kitchen, got something to eat real quick, like something, something quick. And then I sat on the couch to eat it. And I passed her the remote. I'm like, you go turn on Netflix, whatever you want, just send it there. And um, she ended up falling asleep. I ended up falling asleep. We ended up both waking up in the middle of the night at the same exact time. Boom, boom, boom. She went home. So then the next day she invited me over. I went over. It was around two. It was Doran. Yeah, it was Doran. So during round two, I love you. That's what came out. Not me. Nah, I ain't say nothing. But I love you is what came out. And so I'm like, whoa, buddy. Hold on, buddy. Hold up. Slow down, buddy. <laughs> Slow down, buddy. Um, she's like, I love you. Stand at third. In my head, that's my reaction. This is now the fourth day that we known each other. The fourth day we known each other, the second day that we actually linked. And we've been, and so we have been chilling this time the third. We have been, you feel me? Like we have been macking or whatever. And she starts buying me shit. And she starts doing shit for me and inviting me over and cooking breakfast for me and just doing all of this shit, bro. And I'm talking like, treating a nigga like a king bro <laughs> you feel me a king and um it's just like anything i wanted i could have had you feel me and so one day mind you it's still less than two weeks later she like can i come over i'm like yeah cool it's done the third so she was like i want to surprise you with something i'm like i right, bet so she went out and bought all of this shit, and then she came back to my crib and was like you gotta leave and I'm like, what? She like, you gotta leave. I'm like, mm. so I'm like, all right. I'm like, give me a second. Now I got a, I got a couple safes and all of that. So I went, I put all my shit up in the safe. Every single thing, bro. Anything important, I put up. It was damn near like you, if, if you wanted to come there and be an Airbnb guest, you could have, because everything was locked up everything and so i did that and i let her in and then i i uh i bounced i did i come back and i'm gonna show y'all what i came back to look at this shit right here i had to come back and do this and add it in below y'all see the fucking phone that was on the counter go back and look at that shit running back real quick the phone bro that shit had a letter on it like it was a little note to me and she couldn't write nothing because I, I had everything put up so she put on the phone she was like you are special you are amazing i love you you are my protector you are my everything you are my this you are. and i'm just like bro we known each other for less than two weeks bro two weeks 
two weeks. Oh, hold on. I had peace on the plate, y'all. Just so y'all know. So that's what I came back to, bro. This is less than 11. This is 11 days after we met. Less than 14. Only 11 days after we met, bro. And I'm just dumbfounded. Like, I'm playing it off cool as a bitch. But in my head, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm talking about, y'all saw it. I'm talking about rose petals, candlelit bathtubs. She done went and bought my favorite pizza with my favorite toppings. Mind you, I'm vegan, so she went to the correct spot and all of that. I'm talking about like, I, bro, when I was in the tub, bro, she stripped me. She stripped me butterball. She stripped me butterball. Told me get in the tub. I said, Shh. I got in the tub, had one roll for me and everything. And then, next thing you know, she comes back in the bathroom with a washcloth, soap, start giving me a bath. I'm talking about coming to America, give me a bath, bro. I'm talking about... <laughs> and so, and so that happened. And then, next thing you know, she talking about moving in together. She talking about goddamn marriage i'm talking about within a within a month of knowing each other bro within a month and i understand dating intentionally but that ain't feel right that ain't that that felt real intentional just the wrong intentions you feel me like that felt like a hit and agenda type shit and you want to know what was the craziest fucking part about it when we was on a fucking balcony at my crib she had sat here and told me she was like, I don't have no hidden agenda. I just want to treat you right. I don't have no ill will, no bad intentions. I just want to do good, this, that, and the third. I just want to do better. Da, da. And I'm just like, every time she said she ain't got no bad intentions or no hidden agenda, that registered in my head as you do got bad intentions and you do got a hidden agenda. Like, because not only was I just paying attention to everything and all the actions and all the words and everything like in a way it was like i kind of saw that shit from a bird's eye view like and i just didn't trust that shit bro i did not fucking trust it and she was telling me all of this shit about how she just wasn't talking to nobody else not like just nobody long story short i'm at her crib one day she had her laptop open and she left all these messages started coming through. Now, typically, I'm not going to do that. Especially if you're not mine and you don't belong to me. But the way shit was going, bro, I had to know. I had to know. I had to know, bro. I had to know. I looked in that laptop at the motherfucking text messages. In real time, as she was texting. And I'm just like... <laughs> These bitches are some players, nigga. <laughs> oh my god, these hoes. Got game, I swear to god. But it ain't work on me, though. It ain't work on me. You feel me? It was just my turn, but I enjoyed it. But I'm just like, damn, bro. And the crazier part about it is, she had looked me up. Because when we met, I had this shirt on. And she saw that shit and she looked me up. She Googled that shit because I told her my name was Rail. She saw uh, Rail the Chosen when it's fading now. But she Googled that shit and she saw who I was. That's where the hidden agenda came from. That's where the love bombing came from. That's where everything came from. And I was just like, God damn. It all makes sense now. Because she had told me, she was like, I got a confession. You know, one day I looked you up this time and third before we linked up. And I'm like, bingo, it clicked. I'm like, there you go. You wanted whatever you thought I could offer you. You wanted whatever you thought I could give to you. Or whatever you thought you could get from me. 
And that shit was crazy, bro. I never thought that dudes could be love bombed by girls, bro. Like, I didn't know that girls did that shit. I thought only dudes did that shit. And obviously it's apparent that dudes do it. I've never done it to nobody, but I've seen it done to people. And I've heard a lot of stories about it. I never heard about a girl doing it to nobody though. But I, I experienced that shit. So now I know that girls do that shit. I was just sitting there like, mm -mm. nope, you will not get me, bitch. You will not get me. And I don't call women bitches. You will not get me, motherfucker. You will not get me. No, 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 no. You will not get me. No, 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 no. So, that's just one experience dating in Houston. I got a video coming. And it's going to be called Dating in Houston. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. That shit's crazy. That shit crazy out here, bro. That shit was wild. That's it for this video though, man. If you enjoyed the story time, you enjoyed the vibes, make sure you subscribe and join the tribe if you didn't already. If you are already a part of the tribe, I appreciate you and I love you. I appreciate you and love you if you about to tap in and I appreciate you for tapping in anyway, man. I love y'all. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. We're gonna start doing the tribe shout outs maybe next week or next month. But that's it for this video, y'all. Peace and love. Deuces.